In school, we studied about nine planets, but now the number got changed to eight. This happened when Pluto got kicked out of the Planets Club back in 2006. However, now it seems like the number is again going to be the old one, as the astronomers found a mysterious hidden planet in our solar system. Not interesting enough? Listen to this. There are chances that this hidden ninth planet could be the lurking Earth twin. This left scientists baffled and concerned regarding the real presence and whether it is like Earth began to circulate. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the new Earth 2.0. In this infinitely vast universe, Earth is the only planet where we can live. With time, due to climate changes, nuclear wars, and many other countless factors, this planet is getting destroyed. Scientists are trying to make us multi-planetary by finding a new home, an Earth 2.0. For this, they have sent many missions to space, and through these missions, we have learned a great deal about our solar system. Just like that, in one such mission, astronomers came along a hidden planet. It all started when a group of scientists claimed in January 2015 that they had discovered the hidden Planet X circling the Sun using mathematical calculation. But not everyone agreed with the claim. Now, a new study claims to have compiled information about the mysterious item that is worth checking. Astronomer Michael Rowan Robinson of Imperial College London analyzed data provided by the Infrared Astronomical Satellite, or IRAS, back in 1983, and discovered sources for the planet. A small and cold object was sighted some 20 billion miles from Earth and was called Planet 9. Planet 9 is a hypothetical super-Earth-sized planet located in the solar system's outer regions. IRAS, behind the discovery, was a 10-month-old mission that took a far-infrared survey over 96% of the sky. The study made use of what is thought to be the ideal region of the electromagnetic spectrum for identifying small, cold worlds like Planet 9. Professor Michael Rowan Robinson looked to the archives in the hopes of achieving a breakthrough. He was motivated by the hope of finding a blip in the old data that would prove the planet's existence. The astronomers were able to discover three plausible sources for the elusive planet from June, July, and September of 1983, using criteria consistent with the mystery planet and modern computational capabilities. According to the re-examined data, the satellite detected an object traveling across the sky in a region of space near the galactic plane. Rowan Robinson, in his preprint paper, A Search for Planet 9, in the IRAS data, that came out in November 2021, explained that, I have carried out a search for Planet 9 in the IRAS data. At the distance range proposed for Planet 9, the signature would be a 60-micron unidentified IRAS point source with an associated nearby source from the IRAS reject file of sources, which received only a single hour's confirmed or HCON detection. He added, the confirmed source would be detected on the first two HCON passes, but not on the third, while the single HCON should be detected only on the third HCON. I have examined the unidentified sources in three IRAS 60 micron catalogs. Some can be identified with two mass galaxies, galactic sources, or as Sirius. Given the poor quality of the IRAS detections, at the very limit of the survey and in a very difficult part of the sky for far infrared detections, the probability of the candidate being real is not overwhelming. According to the study, points from that region are affected by galactic Sirius. It's filamentary wispy clouds that glow in far infrared. Rowan Robinson concedes that the object may be Planet 9, but it can also possibly be the noise from these clouds. The fact that the object moves through three time points could lead to an estimate of its orbital period around the Sun. It is estimated that Planet 9 is 5 to 10 times larger than Earth and circles up to 800 times farther from the Sun than our planet. 
This information can also be used in conjunction with other data sources, such as the one launched in 2008, the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, or PAN-STARS, to try to find out where this object is now. According to Sputnik News, so far, data from PAN-STARS hasn't resulted in any breakthroughs. Rowan Robinson concludes in his paper that this is actually fairly unlikely to be a real detection, but the possibility does mean that it could be used to model where the planet might be now in order to conduct a more targeted search in the quest to conform or rule out its existence. Rowan said, dynamical studies are needed to check whether such an object is consistent with the ephemerides of other solar system objects and whether this object can account for the clustering of the orbits of Kuiper Belt dwarf planets. If so, a search in an annulus of radius 2.5-4 degrees, centered on the 1983 position at visible and near-infrared wavelengths, would be worthwhile. Earlier this year, a review paper was published in the Annual Review of Astronomy and Astrophysics. The study provides a non-specialist overview of the current state of undertaking of the structure and origin of our solar system's Kuiper belt, or the Trans-Neptunian region. It also reviewed the review, the dynamical features, of the Kuiper belt. This is an area of space that stretches from beyond Neptune to interstellar space. Out there, somewhere, Earth's would-be twin may be hiding. According to planetary scientist Brett Gladman of the University of British Columbia and Catherine Volk of the University of Arizona, who authored this review, at least one extra planet appears in an unexpected location in several of the best computer-generated models of the solar system's early days. According to astrophysicist Scott Tremaine of the Institute for Advanced Study, all of the Mars-scale planets in the outer solar system are expelled into interstellar space in about half of the cases. Inverse writes that the My Very Excellent Mother Just Served Us Nachos version of the solar system has a relatively simple structure. Between the Sun and the asteroid belt, the first zone, there are four rocky inner planets, followed by gas and ice giants, the second zone. Dwarf planets like Pluto and Eris are beyond Neptune in the third zone. This precise size symmetry didn't happen by accident. There were previous groupings of planets, some of which we can no longer locate. The four outer giants used to orbit the Sun at different distances, and possibly in a different order than they do now. The gravitational forces collide, causing Jupiter to move closer to the Sun while the other three moved further away. One or more rocky planets the size of Earth and Mars were also blasted into the outer limits of the solar system or out of it entirely, we're not sure. According to Gladman and Volk, no single hypothesis of how these giants formed can explain the current array of objects in the outer solar system or what it took to get here. Dwarf planets and smaller objects beyond Neptune, such as comets, also formed closer to the Sun before venturing out. Because of gravitational boosts that knocked them far out, these primordial objects are made of different materials than other bodies in the solar system and have elongated inclined orbits. According to scientists, this could be the location of the long-lost Earth twin. Or maybe there's no planet out there at all. But it's certainly worth a look. The scientist that first discovered the planet 9 through calculations was Mike Brown, an astronomer at the California Institute of Technology. Brown, along with Batygen, first predicted Planet 9 in 2016. But they are far from the first to speculate that an undiscovered world lurks in the solar system's outer bank. Astronomers have speculated about such a planet for over a century, erroneously believing that something large was disrupting Neptune's orbit. Planet X was named by astronomer Percival Lowell, who was so determined to discover it that following his death in 1916, he left a million dollars to continue the hunt. The fact that no one has yet seen Planet 9 could indicate that, if it does exist, it is located toward the outermost region of its orbit, making it a faint, slowly moving target hidden in starlight. Based on its apparent gravitational influence on a group of minor objects with strange grouped orbits, the unknown planet is thought to exist. But so far, 
searches for it have turned up nothing, and opponents argue that the signs of it existing are nothing more than data ghosts. According to a recent analysis, if the planet is out there, it might be closer, brighter, and easier to notice than previously thought. The Michael Rowan Robinson study can be the basis of a whole new search for the Earth 2.0 in our own solar system. Brown believes the planet will be discovered before fancy next-generation telescopes are available. Perhaps the sneaky world can be found in data that astronomers already have. But we have to wait for the new missions that are going to finally find us the Earth 2.0. With that, we have come to the end of our video. What do you think about Earth's twin? Is it really hidden somewhere in our own solar system? Share your views in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for the update on upcoming space videos. Until then, have a great day, and thank you for watching.